you want to do? Do you want some? Because I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. You want me to go? You ain't saying shit. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. I'm 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 worried about nothing.
Um, usually the subjects that I'm uh, exploring are things that are personal to me. Um, and, and, you know, for instance, with Unexpected, it's about pregnancy. It's about a woman's internal struggle um, with, you know, uh, her, her own impending pregnancy. And when I was pregnant, I watched everything about pregnancy possible. And what I found was that most of those movies, one, are like broad comedies, and two, all of them are from the male's point of view. So movies like Knocked Up or Nine Months or Father of the Bride 2 or, you know, these movies um, uh, are, are all about a man um, experiencing pregnancy through his partner, which is insane that there aren't more I mean it's such like a female experience to have a baby and to be pregnant and we have very few films about what that's like um, which is crazy so it, so it was something that I wish w had been there when I was going through it same advice I give to young filmmakers I'm giving to myself all the time which is just like make something it doesn't have to be perfect um, there's no need to be precious about it. Um, you can just make it. And, um, you know, for for other forms of, of artistry, people get the opportunity, I think, to practice much more. Um, if you're a painter, um, for instance, you're able to really work on a lot of things in private um, uh, in your own studio or home um, and mess up on them and um, and keep going and you're able to practice quite a lot um, with filmmaking it's a much bigger ordeal so uh, you know I've been a filmmaker for 15 years or something a working filmmaker and I've only made three features so it's uh, I, I wish that I had done more and, and it's something I continually try and uh, tell myself is to to make more work. You know, I love my short film, Baby Mary. I think it's really good um, and really like, it's like easy, you know, because it's only nine minutes or something. So um, so I, I feel really uh, happy with how that turned out. Um, but I, I love all my films. I, I'm like very proud of them and, and feel good about all of them. Um, but unexpected, my latest, I'm like especially excited about. Uh, it's pretty new, so. I thought when I got pregnant that he would straighten up and do right and everything. He's still gonna help out with the baby. And I think he'll be a good father. I just can't take on this baby and him. I can't worry about we get him up for work on time and nagging him to get home. I just can't think about that, you know? Am I being stupid? Jasmine, you are anything but stupid. Yes, I think for sure, like having a good cinema program is important. Um, but I do think that so much of, um, of filmmakers' um, uh, ability to, to be a working filmmaker is, comes from self-motivation. So it, even if everything is in place and there is a good program with, with good equipment and good professors, um, it, after you leave school, the onus is, of course, on you to continue to do things. Um, and because, you know, oftentimes if you're working independently, there's no one asking you to produce anything. Um, so it really, uh, I think the best thing that a cinema program can do is to facilitate that uh, independence and self-motivation and to, to really encourage that um, as much as possible. Thank you.